All right, I'm back, and this time I thought I would just do a really short episode on building the industrial electrolyzer and finally getting the diamond drill because I've needed this titanium for a while. I haven't been able to build any of the advanced tools because um, they all take titanium, so I was hoping to finally make some. And the recipe for this guy, recipe for the dust specifically, is these tiny piles of aluminum. And we can get those, or sorry, titanium, from industrial electrolyzer, run that, run the bauxite ore dust rather, through it, with some cells, and you get all this stuff. Similar concept to the blast furnace, I guess, but without the, it's just a single block. So, got all this stuff ready. It is pretty expensive. Well, it's not terribly expensive. Boom. Got it, and I got a hopper for it, some cells, and I even have a bunch of dust. Now, I don't know how hoppers interact with cells and other types of stuff, but I've got, I reorganized this, I've got my, my fiber cable running under the floor, and I've got the switch on the MFE, and it's set to only output if there's a red, uh, do not output if there's a redstone signal, so it's, right now it's off. So I'm going to put this down here. Sweet, and let's test this out. If I put one bauxite and one cell, what happens? Okay, so it only feeds in the bauxite, that's fine. Alright, so nothing's happening yet because I haven't flipped this on. Oh, it's doing something. It's glowing. That's awesome. Oh, that's pretty quick, too. Let's take a look. Oh, there's water. Oh, that's cool. You can do a lot of stuff with this thing. I've only really... I only looked at the one recipe. Oh, what can I do with ash? I have tons of ash. Carbon cell. That's cool. Alright, so I need to make, I need to let that run like four times because I need two piles, four piles of dust to make, tiny dust to make one like larger dust, and then I need two of those to make, I need two of those to make two bars for my drill, so while that runs, I can go, um, I redid the B factory thing because it was, it was kind of ugly. But now, much better. I've got everything nicely tucked away. There's these things you can make. They're called, I forget the name. I have some in the chest here. They're basically like for tubes, uh, covers, hollow covers. It's basically uh, stone covers in like um, a big circle. Makes sense. So that's what those are there. And I basically have, I got rid of the sorting machines. So it's just a timer pulling items out and there's just a filter with a with the yellow color and yellow is right back here so oh, I think I lost that cover <laughs> I'll put it back later um, so yellow goes here and then honey drops will always go to this bin and the beeswax will go here and the reason this is a chest was I found with the auto crafting table, which is actually under this chest now, putting it on a barrel caused it to just eat the item. So if there was like under three, three items in there or three beeswax, it would basically just decrement the barrel. Like you go from three or two down to one down to zero, but nothing would get crafted. So they're basically just getting wasted and, and going nowhere. So I think that's a bug. I posted on the forums about it and people seem to think it was a bug. So yeah, don't, don't try to use an auto crafting table with barrels because it'll eat your items. <laughs> But, so that's why there's a chest here. And the auto crafting table is just underneath, sitting here. And that that crafts and things go out of here, up to the top, into this barrel, as you can see here. And then I have another timer, just, it's really slow. Um, I won't click it because it tends to crash sometimes. Um, but this is just, this is a transposer, it's not a filter because I don't need a color. And then I kind of made this look a lot cooler with the with the stone cover plates there, and it just heads up here. 
and goes in here. And it only pulls items out when there's room. So as you can see, this is all filled. This is filled and this is filled. So um, it's just going to idle if the tick timer ticks. Nothing will happen um, unless there's 63 in here. But this has been going really well. And the dirt is, is pretty good. I had a 50-50 split on here before. And it ended up being the, the dirt was slowly growing in here. Um, so I made it a two to three split instead favoring the tree farm, giving the tree farm a three. So I'm just gonna let that run for a while. And it seems like it's okay. But I basically want it, I don't want it to run out, I want it just to sit at that same number. Um, would be ideal. But that now that's working fine. I don't have to worry about it as much anymore. Which is cool. Alright, right on. So let's just run twice more. Um, yeah. Oh, and whoever suggested it, thanks for the suggestion. I made this canvas bag with all my tools, so much nicer. A lot more room in my inventory now. Didn't know that was a thing. Um, basically, to make this, all you need is canvas, and that's just string and sticks. And if you didn't know, I think I talked about this before, but to get string, all you need is just flax seeds, which you can get from just breaking, breaking plants around, and it's great, like, you grow one fox plant with bone meal, and then you just break it, and it gets you, like, insane amounts of string, like, 10 string or something ridiculous, like, it's amazing, so don't worry about string. If you need to string and feed the beast, just use, uh, use some friggin' flax. It's great. It's no problems at all. All right. It's still going. Um, I could cut, but I... I think I did I change anything else other than that last since last time? Not really, not really. Um, yeah, but I've been enjoying I've been enjoying the bees. They're quite good, so I'll probably end up um, breeding breeding more types of bees um, and adding more to my automated automated row there or the row of automated uh, apiaries. But for now, this is like perfect. I I don't need any of the bee products. I don't really have a use for the propolis which you get from another type of comb. Um, that's for like stained glass and stuff and certain other products, but I have no use for it right now. So I'm just gonna stick with this, nice and simple. Um, oh yeah, and I'm gonna try and transition to all these lights to these. These are just these type of lights, inverted white lamps. I should have built them from the beginning because these kind of look silly. They look silly like this and I just didn't know about these. So um, I'd like to make those, everything like that because they, they're definitely more visible and um, it's much nicer uh, aesthetically than, especially like this, like I can actually place that whole block with the light and then it would serve as a floor light up here as well as the ceiling like down here, which I'd like to do. Um, this guy's running smooth. Everything's good to go here. Oh yeah, and I, I, I want to grow a bunch of flowers here and plants and stuff. I used bone meal and it, it just made all this grass, so I'll probably, maybe I'll manually plant stuff, but I ran out of bone meal because I I wasn't fighting many skeletons, but oh yeah, here's a pro tip with bone meal. Use it, put it through the, um, don't just use it like this, it gets you three. Not even the masturbator gets you five, put it through the, 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 the pulverizer, it'll get you six. And yeah, that's pretty good, six times multiplier is not bad at all. Awesome, so this is done. I'm just gonna do that, oh I need more cells anyway, but, wow that's a lot of aluminum. That's a really good source of aluminum because bauxite is really prevalent. Like, you get a lot of it. I've got a lot I haven't, like, look at this, like 12 times 64. It's crazy. So, um, let's take this, this titanium. Boom. Now, can I just smelt this in an industrial shapeless IC2? It has to be industrial blast furnace. Well, I've got one of those. No freaking problem. Um, oh, I should check. I should take this out. And I should check. Oh, it's full. So this will be good. Uh, just do this. So, uh, why is this taking energy? Oh, it sucked them in. No. Um... I'll just break that for now. There we go. Oh yeah, it's doing it. No freaking problem. 
yeah, it's like if you have, I guess this this has items still going through it, so it was sucking energy as well. I should, I, ideally, I should make it like another switch for that, but I didn't envision actually using those both at the same time. Um, so that's okay though. Finally, be able to make my diamond drill. Actually, I'll make the drill now, so it'll be ready. Um, diamond drill. And I have so much lapis, I'll make like a lap pack or something for for that. Battery, steel, and I believe I can use these guys. It's just one gold and one redstone, which is a lot easier than making like a big circuit for sure. Uh, steel, and need a battery. I know all this stuff by heart by now, <laughs> for sure. That's one thing like I never thought I would be able to memorize all this stuff, but after playing for this long, it's uh, all this stuff is like totally second nature by now. It's not bad at all. Okay, there's that. And I just need the advanced circuit, three diamonds. Got one of those. Three diamonds. This will be nice because I got my silk touch pick, but I don't like to use it too much for just mining because it seems like a waste. One and hopefully I had enough. Oh yeah, two. All right. Let's build this. Three diamonds, two titanium, and this. Ah, oh, awesome. Finally got that. Let's charge it up. Uh, yep. And there you go. That's how you uh, you get these tools in the Minecraft pack with the crazy Greg Tech stuff, which I kind of like. Um, some people don't seem to like the the harder recipes, but I mean, in old Feed the Beast, you could just build this thing like right off the bat, and then you were done. And was, and you don't have to work anymore. So it was, it's definitely funner, I think, to have or more fun to have that progression. Um, but anyway, I think that's it for now. I just made a short one because the last one was super long. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching.